Hey guys, welcome to another figure review, and today we're going to take a look at the new Star Wars 6-inch Black Series figure of the First Order Stormtrooper from Hasbro. Yep, Hasbro is now releasing new Star Wars Black Series figures based on characters for the new Star Wars The Force Awakens movie. And now you can see right away we have our First Order Stormtrooper right there in the package with a new open window box packaging. As you can see, we have a different window box packaging. At the bottom right corner, we have an image of the First Order Stormtrooper. At the top of the package, it says Star Wars The Black Series right there. On the bottom left corner, it says First Order Stormtrooper. On the side, it also says First Order Stormtrooper. On the back, it says Star Wars The Black Series right there. And it is number 4 from Series 1. And right there we have, it says... First Order Stormtrooper, and right here it gives you a little bio about the figure. Equipped with sleek armor and powerful weapons that Stormtroopers enforce the will of the First Order. Now I'm pretty much here, but that's all we can do. And on the and on the other side, it just has does like this red background right there. It has it says First Order Stormtrooper, and it says number four from the series one series of the new Black series. On the bottom, it has nothing. So let's open this bad boy out. And here's the figure right out of the packaging. So here's the First Order Stormtrooper for the new movie, Star Wars The Force Awakens. So let's take a look at this figure. So let's take a look at the helmet. And you can see it has the newly designed helmet from the new movie, Star Wars The Force Awakens. And you can see tiny details right there on the helmet right there. You can see line details going around the helmet. I like how the mouth is attached to the eyes. I think that's really cool. You can see some line details are going around the helmet and around the eyes right there. You got some nice gridded lines right there. It got some nice black. You got this like um, gas hole right there with some, got some tiny, tiny detail with some silver paint right there. I think that's a really nice touch. You got some black lines right here. I like this gridded detail on the side of the mouth right there. There's this black line going all the way around the helmet right there. I think that's really nice and really cool looking. And as you can see from the torso area, we got like this shiny armor. It's really glossy, like plastic. is perfect for this kind of figure. On the top of the torso right there, we got some black paint right there. It got some nice black detail lines right there. And got some nice detail on the sides and line grids right there. It got some nice detail on the waist right there. And got some nice um, pockets detail right there. It got some black paint right there. On the back is... Nothing much, but it got some nice detail, it got some nice black hole right there. And on the back, it got the same thing as the front, it got some nice gridded lines right there. On the back of his waist, he has like this canister right here, which is very nice detail. It has like this black paint, it got some white paint right here. Got it on the other side, it has black paint right there, nothing much, right, really. On the arms, is is really shiny right here. I, I really, I'm really digging the glossy plastic. On this figure, you got some nice detail on the on the arm right there. Really cool details on the arm pad right there. I really like his hands. He's wearing like these black and white gloves right there. Really, the whole figure is the only black and white. I really like the gloves that he's wearing right here. I, there's a there's an armor piece right here on the top of his hand. On the it's same thing on the other hand. But on this figure, he has one trigger finger hand and one open hand. And on his torso, he has this, like this bell with pockets. He has black pockets with black paint. In the front, he has white paint right there. Got some white pockets on his side right here. I think that's really cool. Uh, going down the leg, he, again, with the glossy white plastic. I'm really digging that. It got some nice tiny details. Right here on the side, he has this pickle hole right here. It's used to store his weapons, what I will show you in just a bit. He, he got a knee pad right here. Uh, going down the leg, you know, right here on his foot, got some nice tiny detail right here on his feet right here. Got some nice tiny detail on both feet. He's wearing these white shoes with black paint right there. Got some pickles on the bottom of his feet. And I just like the wrinkles throughout the whole figure. I mean, like in the split parts between, between the armor. I really like the wrinkles that they added on this figure. It looks really cool. Man, very nice detail on the wrinkles. All the way going down through his armor. Got some wrinkles between the thighs right there. Got them. Got some wrinkles between the knees right there. So cool. 
So let's take a look at the articulation on this guy. His hand is on a ball chain, so he can go slightly up, but not that much. And it's down, is he can look up that far, and he can go and he can look down that far. His arm can only spread out that far because his shoulder piece hinders the articulation with the torso, so not too much there. He has a single joint at the elbow right there. His hands can swivel left to right. He his hand can crush down and back. But with the hand, with his armor piece right here, he can't like crunch back that far. And you can see, you can see it hinders the articulation right there. The same as the other arm. At the torso, you could do a 360 rotation. And he can crunch back that far. And that far front. So nothing much there. His leg can kick up that much and kick back that much. So nothing much there because of this armor piece right here on the top of his thigh right there. He have a, he has double jointed knees. His feet can kick up that much and kick down that much. He does have angle pivot, but due to this armor piece, you kind of need to like go over it like this. So it doesn't hinder like the angle pivot right there. So that's the articulation on this guy. So let's take a look at his accessory that he comes with. So he comes with two blasters. So let's take a look at the main blaster that he comes with. This blaster looks great. It's very nice detail. As you can see on the top of the gun, it has black paint, white paint on the bottom. Got some nice black spots right there. On, you can see on the handle right there and on the under barrel right there. He, on the other side, it has like this piece that attaches to his left side that I'll show you in a bit. As you can see, the mechanism right there and on the back of the gun has white paint right there. Especially on the scope, it has a silver paint on the scope, which I really think is nice detail. It really has like these nice detail marks right there. Very nice detail. So that's the main blaster. So let's go to the secondary blaster, which is a handgun. This is a very different design handgun. As you can see, it has white paint right there on the handle and on the on the gun right there. And, and as you can see, the barrel is a black paint right there. Here you can see on the top of the gun it has black plastic right there and you can see the mechanism right there so there's a peco right here on the side of his die that you can plug the blaster in there to store it so this is like this peg right here that's sticking out you can peg it right there exactly how it is and you can actually store his weapon so you don't have to like pose him holding the blaster you can pose him storing the blaster like that it works with both blasters you can see it works with the tiny blaster you just peg it as so like that you can peg it with both blasters you can only peg it with one blaster and you can have him holding the other blaster he can hold the blaster very nice and tight with him holding the blaster it kind of works better with the trigger finger hand instead of the open hand because this hand is kind of loose when you put the blaster on this one and you can have him holding onto the blaster with two hands and so you can make some great battle poses and you can have him holding on to the small blaster with one hand and for size comparison here he is standing next to the 3.75 quarter inch first order stormtrooper from hasbro as you can see the, the size difference between these two so there's my review on the new Star Wars 6 inch black series first order stormtrooper from Hasbro. I am very impressed with this figure. I really think collectors would like this figure and especially for the new movie Star Wars The Force Awakens that is coming out. I really am impressed with this figure. I really think you should pick this guy up. So thank you for watching. So happy hunting my friends and have a nice day.